Hi, I'm Scott Hammond with WrittenPlan.com, and today I want to talk to you about speaking. What's the number one leadership skill that you can learn, develop, and master in your lifetime in short order? You answer correctly, it's speaking. It's the number one leadership skill. I can teach somebody how to think, I can teach somebody how to read, I can teach somebody how to listen, but teaching them how to speak and speak well, you can teach that and learn that actually pretty quickly. So speaking is the number one skill to use and master in any venue, whether it's home or business or anywhere else you're going to be in the world. And you have the ability to choose that and choose wisely. So why presentation? Why speaking skills? Well, that's a great question. Probably of any skill set that you can learn, it's the most compelling. You can learn persuasion. You can actually help people get what they need quicker if you're a compelling communicator. And it pre-assumes a couple things. Desire to learn it. Are you good with people? Do you have emotional intelligence? And are you willing to become a, a good learner of compelling speech? And if the answer is yes to that, then let's talk about what a good speech looks like. Well, first of all, it's body language. It's hands. Are you slouching? Are you tipping? Are you straight up? It's about the body. About 73% of what we communicate is through our body. Number two, it's about facial expression. What is your face saying? Your mouth. What are the eyes saying mostly? A lot of speaking is right here. Can you look at a speaker's eyes and tell what they're doing? Number three, your voice. Am I talking way up here? Or can I get really quiet with you down here and make a point? Can I pause? Pausing makes a great emphasis. Can you talk really fast and really spin a tail and go, go, go? Yep. Or you can slow way down to emphasize your point. And don't forget the hands. Bill Clinton used to point. Don't you point. Remember they, they gave him a, uh, they nubbed it down a little bit so he does this. You don't have to do that. You can use your hand and talk to people and be a compelling speaker. Number two, what's your content like? Do you have an opening? Do you have a body? And do you have a close to your speech? Are you opening with some story? Is something that is interesting, something exciting? Uh, two, do you have compelling content? Don't try to do anything more than about three points because I won't remember it, you won't remember it, no one remembers it. A lot of people will stand up and do seven, eight, ten points and they've forgotten them all. Tell me this, what are the seven secrets of effective people, the Covey book? I don't know what they are right now, I could tell you two. But if you keep your speech to three main points, I guarantee you people will remember what you had to say. And then lastly, conclude it. Tell them what you told them. Review your content. Let people know what it was you just spoke about. And people will remember it for a long time and you'll be a better and compelling speaker. And then lastly, stage time. Stage time, stage time. In order to get good at something, you have to do it. So get in front of people. Take opportunities to speak, whether it's at home, at work, community service. You have an opportunity to get in front of people almost every day and speak and be prepared. One of the great tools is Toastmasters. There is a Toastmasters chapter or chapters in your town. I almost guarantee it. It's a fabulous opportunity. It's inexpensive and they will teach you how to speak in probably the most supportive environment uh, the earth knows today. So with that, you can become a better speaker. So what is the number one leadership skill? It's speaking. What is the number one leadership skill that you can learn today? you could become a better, more compelling speaker. So what's your plan? Will you decide today to become a masterful speaker? Could you do it? It is the number one fear. Death is number six. The joke is more people would rather be in the coffin than give the eulogy. I hope that's not true for you. You can overcome your fear of speaking like thousands of others today. And I encourage you to do that. Uh, get up, get going, Get your speaking mojo on. You can do this. Go after it. Go become a compelling speaker. Scott Hammond with WrittenPlan.com. Have a productive day.